thoughts of the attraction owner at the time were to get rid of all of the wild and exotic animals. Well, they were able to do that, of course, except for one, and that was Blue R. Hippo. So Governor Lawton Childs uh, made a gubernatorial proclamation saying that Blue could remain here as an honorary citizen of the state of Florida, and he's done very well ever since. So when you guys get over to the other side, please tell Lou I said hello. Now, I'm going to have to give you a couple of nautical terms. The first one is going to be starboard, which means the right-hand side of the boat. And if I want you to look to the front of the boat and to the right, I'll say off the starboard bow. The left-hand side of the boat is called the port side. And if I want you to look to the left of us and in front of us, I'll say off the port bow. Now, as we go around the corner here, I want you to check out these little short stubby palm trees on the bank of the hotel property. They're called palmetto palms. And if you see little white flowers down around the base, those That's are called hotel. Spanish needles. It looks like uh, a slender palm trees That's on cool the hotel that. property. And there's Mama Wood Duck right off our starboard bow. She had a whole bunch of babies in here earlier today. I don't know where she must have gotten them hit somewhere. Up there they are. They're in the underbrush. See them? Oh, look at the duckies. Right here. All down in the underbrush. There they go. Don't lose them, Mama. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Now, this stuff over the port side here, do not reach up and touch it. That There's is Spanish moss. We'll talk more are. about it as we I'm, get down to the water. Now I'm all worried. Now, as I told you, I've been driving boats here since doors. about 95. About and drivers who've been here much longer than me have told me they have seen bear, cougar, panther, bobcat, deer, coon, possum, squirrels, rabbit, armadillo, fox, turkey, you name it, they've seen it. So if you happen to see something that I'm There's not talking about, wife. please point and sing out. Well, if you can't sing, just point and grunt, and I'll know exactly what you're trying to do. Off our starboard side, they have a very grass grass. It's called Pappas Grass. And uh, it's, uh, I think, related to sea oats. And as I told you, it is against the law to pick sea oats. And if you're caught by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, um, Doris, I know what you're thinking. They will find you, your firstborn child, your pickup truck, your home, your wife, your husband, your money. Not necessarily in that order. There you go. Like, you might be romantic. <laughs> <laughs> this would be a romantic place to have sex. I can do that. You know, the kids would probably watch this video one day. Put <laughs> your video in it, <laughs> idiot. I don't know. Where's, where's the fish boat? I don't know. What's the fish boat? You tell me. Uh, Roger that. You tell me. Okay. Now, as we, as we go through this canopy here, I want you guys to look up into the... Look up. Uh, look up. Check out the understory here, because this is one of the areas that uh, our barred owls like to hang head out. I've got horses' head on my way over. Hang out in four or five different, different areas of our park, and this is one of them, because they like a nice dark place to sleep. Doris, if you win, you better give me some of the land, like his woman did, but or that girl did to him. But they're not up there, you guys will have to catch our, mate, our, our uh, captive pair over in the park. I'd like you guys to kind of direct your attention to off the starboard bow, and you'll see another sable palm tree. Thundering pretty good, isn't it? All right, and there it is. Now, sable palms also have another name right over here. We're going underneath it right about now. Sable palms also have another name. They're called the cabbage or swamp cabbage palm. They are the state tree of Florida, believe it or not. I'm told by my cracker friends, if you were to fell the tree, separate the branches from the trunk at that very intersection, you would find something that looks much like a cabbage. Actually, it's the heart of the palm. If you take it out, you will kill the plant. Hmm. But if you take it out and you boil it and you develop a taste for it, you can eat it. I'm fun. Well, I'm here to tell you, ladies oh, and gentlemen, I've been cranky. in Florida 55 years. Being cranky. Cranky. No taste oh, for look it. at him. Y'all can have my share. Older Tina. All right, now you remember this is what we deal with sometimes. Spanish moss. Well, she gets okay, into the cranky moods. Spanish moss is not Spanish. She don't get her way. It's not moss. Actually, it is a bromeliad, 
It is part of the pineapple family. Spanish moss is an air-breathing plant. It takes no nourishment from the host plant. Now, the bad thing about Spanish moss is it is infested with red bugs and chiggers. <laughs> you have fun? Whatever you get red bug or chigger on you, what you need to do is paint the red Keep an eye out. area Look. on your skin with some clear fingernail polish, and that will start off the air. Uh, the insect will die, and your Love body Chris. will naturally escape.